Hey guys, um, I wanted to come on and be like a new restarting of my channel. Um, I have changed my name. I, I used to go by Too Much Hurt, and now it's Cozy Dozy Duds, which is actually my Etsy store. I don't know if this is backwards. I'm hoping it's not. Um, so my Etsy store is Cozy Dozy Duds on Etsy. And, um, yeah, I wanted to come on and share a few things with you and make this, like, my new restart of my channel. Um, I'm mostly going to be doing crocheting, um, sharing projects, what I'm working on. I will be sharing some hauls, whether it's yarn hauls or... I also have um, some online hauls that I'm doing that have craft and yarn related and whatnot. So um, I've been following a lot of YouTubers, kind of hiding in the background. I do comment a lot, but I figure it's about time for me to come on. And for some reason, I've been very... Um, I don't know, nervous because of not doing this for a while. So, so I used to do more scrapbooking, crafting kind of things, and I've kind of, um, I still do that once in a while, but I've kind of pushed that stuff aside. In fact, I have many. I've been destashing a lot of my materials. Um, I have a few things still in my store that I'm trying to destash, and. That is due more because of my health issues. It's just, um, I don't know, easier. I feel more comfortable when I'm just kind of lounging. and But yet, I still want to keep my hands busy. So, I wanted to come on and share 10 non-yarny things about me. And I made some list, a little list so I keep on track. And hopefully, I'm not disrupted in this time because I don't have really a pause button on my phone. I don't know how to do that or whatever. So, um, I live in Northern Illinois area my entire life. Um, that is the first thing I've written down. Um, one other thing, non yarny thing, is I, I used to be a bowler. I loved bowling. I bowled over 25 years. Um, I wanted to be a woman's professional bowler and I actually did bowl against a couple professional bowlers when I was trying to pursue that and I did um, during this one tournament competition that I was bowling as professional women's bowlers I did actually beat them um, so I was with that for quite a while and that's actually how I met my husband is through bowling I was going to college um, for my teaching degree and I still wanted to bowl occasionally so I, my dad was on an adult uh, mixed league on a Sunday night and he wanted me to join because my oldest brother was on his team so you know I thought it was something to do and I did and my husband was bowling with his parents so that's how we met. Um, so yeah, I've already said that I was, was going to school, um, Northern Illinois for teaching and we, my husband and I, as our relationship grew, he has two older boys that he has had full custody of at the time and, um, we got, you know, like, okay, well, let's get more serious, so we got to find somewhere to live or whatever, so we decided to move somewhere kind of in between um, me going to school and um, our hometown where our parents were still. So we rented for quite a while, and then five years ago, we were able to purchase a home. Um... I wrote down because a lot of people in the yarning community, I notice, like tea. 
I do not. I like coffee, and I like cappuccinos is my favorite, like different cappuccinos. But for some reason, I have tried tea again and again, and I can't like it. So I just noticed in the yarning community that um, a lot of people like tea, and I do not. <laughs> um, I've been married for 16 years. It would be 17 in October. We knew each other a couple years before that. I have a 15-year-old son who just not that long ago got his driver's permit, so please, you know, say a little prayer for me. Um, and I always call my son my miracle. I mean, every child is a miracle. Um, but originally, I was told I couldn't have children. And I did not find out I was pregnant until I was about four months along because I had my normal cycle and everything. And then all of a sudden, on that fourth month, it did stop. So um, I didn't think I was pregnant because I was told there was something wrong all my female anatomy and I couldn't carry a child. Um, but lo and behold, I got pregnant. And since then I was, haven't been able to uh, have any more, but you know, he's my, my miracle. And uh, I had a great pregnancy all the way up till the end. And that's when all the problems well, almost the end. He was born five and a half weeks early. Almost the end. So that's when all the problems started and me and him almost. We almost died from major complications and that's a whole nother uh, scope. If you want me to talk about that, just leave a comment below and I could discuss all that. But that that's a whole nother scope. Um, currently, like I said, I 